Hey guys, Yasil here, back with another video. Um, as you would have seen, I've been uploading quite a few uh, videos on my new 3D printer. Uh, it has been keeping me quite busy in the last few uh, few weeks. Um, so I've recently uh, bought quite a few lithium-ion 18650 uh, battery cells, um, and those are the same cells used in uh, power banks. So I thought, why not use my 3D printer to print a uh, case? Um, since I had one of these modules, uh, power bank modules lying around uh, to make a, a beefy uh, power bank. Uh, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take you guys through very quickly uh, what, I've, uh, what I've done and what I've, um, you know, the parts that I've printed and, and how I've put these components together to make a 12,000 milliamp hour power bank. Cool, so um, I've, I have a detail, detailed um, instructable uh, that I've done on on this, um, and I'll include it in in the uh, description below. Uh, but this was this was quite an easy build. Um, the the three D printed part itself, uh, it just it's just two components. It's the silver casing uh, at the bottom, and it's the orange lid. So you can there are a few designs um, uh, that's provided. Uh, and recently, the um, uh, the person that made this design uh, uploaded a Lego lid. Uh, which is quite cool. Um, so, uh, if I'm not mistaken, this uh, the in total the print might have taken. Um, I think for the case it was around uh, four to five hours, and the lid was between uh, two to three hours. If I'm not mistaken, I'll have to go back to uh, Cura uh, and, and and have a look. Um, but yeah, basically it was super easy print. Um, uh, there was some issues with my printer regarding retraction, which had some uh, strings on the inside, but I managed to cut that out very easily. Um, and this uh, this was actually meant and designed for uh, this particular power bank module, which is which is a very po very uh, popular uh, power bank module on on AliExpress and eBay, uh, and all of which I'll I'll include in the description below. So uh, so yeah, after I printed this case, which comes with a uh, a, a hole here for the reset uh, for the on off button on the module um, I I used four um, LG lithium-ion 18650 battery cells uh, those cells are rated at 3000 milliamp hours each so connected in parallel you're gonna get uh, a, a, approximately 12,000 milliamp hours uh, worth of capacity which is which is a decent amount for a power bank um, and this module comes with uh, two ports, uh, two output ports, uh, one that provides one amp and one that provides uh, 2.1. Uh, it charges via normal micro USB. Unfortunately, the charging current, uh, it, the, the board limits the current to 300 milliamp hours, so it will take a while to charge this, 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 this battery bank. Um, if, if it is, uh, so at 300 milliamp hours to charge a 12,000 milliamp hour battery pack, it's going to take approximately 40 hours. So, um, yeah, so that's, that's the only downside to this. But other than that, it, it, it works, it works really well. Um, and it has a, a little LED, uh, torch here on the side. It isn't the brightest of torches, but it's, it could be useful if you're looking for something, um, you know, in, in a dark room or, or whatever. Um, so... Uh, to turn the to turn the power bank on, you just press and hold the uh, button on the side, and the LCD. It is a nice blue um, LCD. I just want to see if I can focus on this. Um, it's a decent blue backlit uh, LCD, uh, and so when you connect a, a, a something to the power bank, or like a phone, or in this case, I'm just going to use this LED uh, lamp, a USB LED lamp that I have. Um, I'm going to connect it to the one amp port, so you'll see that um, the the LCD is now indicating that it's using I'm using the one amp uh, one amp slot on the for you know, on the power bank, um, and if you click, you'll get the blue um, backlit L, uh, you know the blue uh, backlight, and then if I needed to connect it to the two point one amp slot, um, the LCD will refresh and then it'll show you that it's using the uh, the 2.1 amp uh, output port. So that's that's the basic function. You know, if, if you want to charge a phone or anything like that, and then to use the uh, LED torch, 
all you have to do is double press the the button and uh, the light will come on so yeah that's that's basically it um i've used a uh, a label maker that i had uh, a brother label maker maker for these uh, it's completely optional you don't really need this but i just wanted to just distinct, distinguish between the two ports which one outputted uh, the uh, you know 1 amp and 2.1 amps um and in in terms of the construction i used like i said i used four lithium iron 18650 cells i used a uh, a, a 18650 battery holder that 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 uh, takes four uh, cells. Uh, soldered the wires, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, one one rail for the positive, one rail for the negative because they are uh, connected in parallel. And literally, it was just mean. It, it just all I had to do was solder the corresponding wires to the board. Um, and fortunately, this design was made perfectly well for this uh, module. Uh, that it, it fitted quite well. The only thing that I have to I had to do was uh, sand down this button here uh, and drill to make this hole slightly bigger so uh, the module could fit in uh, perfectly. Um, and yeah, that's that's about it. I oh, I used uh, I think M M three screws I had lying around, uh, just four of them to to close to close off the lid and, and screw them down. Um, but yeah, that's basically it. Uh, it was a uh, quite a fun project. Uh, Twelve thousand milliamp hour power bank, so it should should give me. Uh, quite a bit of juice if I need it, um, but yeah, I'll, I'll leave all. I'll leave the link to my instructable um, in the you know in the description below, um, and uh, the parts that I've purchased for this build. Um, but yeah, please leave any suggestions or comments in the comment section below. And thanks for watching. Cheers.